Chassis Chassis. Have you ever wondered, what is this place and how did I get here? What is this place and how did I get here? How did I get here? Or even how can I exist here finding some happiness and, and fulfillment and maybe bringing a little bit of happiness to others along the way? Yeah, me too. Life is an unscripted adventure and I invite you to join me on mine. Together we're going to meet some really cool people, and not your usual suspects either. These people are doing it. They're living happy, fulfilled lives, changing the world, changing their communities, or even just changing themselves. Hopefully they'll inspire us to do the same. And if not, you'll have a little fun along the way. You know, I'm so sorry. That's Amit Goswami. He was in the bleep. Amit! 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 No, wait! Amit! It's Amit Goswami, everybody, oh from the God. bleep! So Amit, there's a lot of noise going on here, a lot of energy. So yesterday in your talk, you said that, that somehow that energy is emitting and, and it's measurable. So how is it measurable? This I can answer, you know, this is a scientific question and I'm delighted to answer it because finally this energy that we call vital energy to differentiate it from physical is becoming very measurable. There's actually an instrument called Kalyan Photograph Kalyan photography. photography, which actually measures it by simply noting that with your emotions, the electromagnetic energy that surrounds us, some people call it an aura, right. that changes. And that change can be measured very simply. By taking this, this photograph? Taking this photograph, of electrical photograph, sort of, of your aura. Right. Now, does it also work on, like, will it be impact, like, will a random number generator be impacted by the energy that's being emitted from here? Uh, that is a little bit different. Random number generators don't reflect the, so much the uh, energies, vital energies uh, directly, but vital energies has an aspect called non-locality, the right. quantum concept of correlation. Uh, and uh, that non-local consciousness, a connection between people without any signals, that signal less communication right. between people, that non-locality can be measured with this random number generator. It's, it's, it's a very, very mysterious thing. Wow. When you don't think about it. Yeah, it's amazing. Radioactive decays, which are random, that's converted with a computer self into a series of numbers. Okay. Zeros and ones. Zeros and ones. And, and they should be random because the original decays are random. Right. If you take a sufficient length of an array, that array should be a random array. Right. But in the presence of like-minded people, right. like that were sitting in my lecture, or especially during the dance that they were doing just before the lecture, I don't know if you heard did, the dance, yeah. if you saw the dance, it, it was beautiful energy because it, it, that energy signifies a non-local connection between people, which the random number generator betrays by showing a peculiar uh, act of non-randomness. The, the array becomes non-random all of a sudden. Wow. Now Gregory Bateson used to say that the opposite of randomness is choice. How do choice comes back? It turns out in quantum physics choice comes from this non-local consciousness. So we choose, we become creative in the presence of other people coherently meditating, cogitating right. with us. Wow. Now, so you Amit was in my movie, and you did such a beautiful job of, you know, talking about quantum physics. And I still really want to understand this. Why, why do you think it's important for somebody like me to even understand? I can barely spell it, but why should I understand it? What's 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 is the what's the takeaway for somebody like me? Well, the big takeaway is that quantum physics enables you to unlock the creative genius in you. Of course, you were already unlocking oh, it. You I'm pretty unlocked. <laughs> I'm just saying. You are no, but how is it unlocking? It's, it's unlocking because you were used to quantum thinking without even knowing it. The fact is that Betsy, in spite of all the do-do-do that you do, <laughs> you're a pretty deluxe person. Oh, thank uh, you. I, I oh, watch you. All that Kaswami just called me deluxe. <laughs> I'm so cool. So, you know, it, that's relaxing and doobie alternative. Right. That doobie 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 doobie. doobie, 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 doobie. Yeah, the quantum waves of possibility, they proliferate becoming bigger and bigger pools of possibility when we relax. Right. But the doing is very important too, because the doing gives focusing so that the unconscious cannot focus on anything else. Right. It just focused on the creativity question, the question that you're looking to answer for. So I need to practice more being and a little less doing. Well, you are already into doing, and yeah. you are already into focus doing. It, it comes naturally to you. 
the stuff that doesn't come naturally is the, the sitting bed seat. But so, <laughs> so, you know, that's what you have that's to do. That's true. Others have to do the opposite. They're right. too much into sitting mm -hmm. and then for them, the focused learning, focused doing is what you practice. Well, thank you, Ahmed. I really appreciate your time. I'll let you go now. I'm sorry that I, like, chased you down. And I oh, no, 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 you don't have to chase me. Oh, no, I love Ahmed. Oh, yeah.